Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our derivatives of our general exponentials and logarithmic functions. In this particular video, uh, we'll take a look at the patterns and, um, you know, identify how we do that. So the general exponentials are like 7 to the x or 3 to the x or something like that. Um, and if we take the derivative of that, it's 7 to the x, the original equation, times the ln of the base. Remember with e, we didn't write this because the ln of e is just 1. Same idea here, if I put a function in for u, I just have to remember to multiply by that, that derivative of that function, little chain rule for you. Example of that, if I have 10 to the x squared plus 1, then y prime is the original function, 10 to the x squared plus 1, times the ln of the base, the ln of 10, times the derivative of the, of the exponent, which is 2x. Can't really multiply anything out, you just leave it just like that. In general exponentials, so dy dx, or d over dx of the log base a of x, it's 1 over the ln of a times 1 over x. If I had put a function there, it's the log base a um, of u, it's 1 over the ln of a times 1 over u times du dx. It's the same as, as, the, it's the, same as the ln, we, ju it, we just, you know, we don't write 1 over the ln of e, which is that base, because it's 1, so we just don't write that. A couple of examples of that. First of all, again, I would pull this one-third out front, uh, actually a two-thirds out front. I'd write it this way, watch. I'd write it as log of 2x plus 5 raised to the two-thirds power. The two-thirds power because of the cube root and then the squared. And I'd bring that two-thirds out front. So I'd, before I found the derivative, I'd write it as two-thirds log, uh, it's base 10, of 2x plus 5. Now find the derivative. y prime is two-thirds times 1 over the ln of the base times 1 over the function times the derivative of the function. Sure, I can multiply that out. I could write it as 4 over 3 ln of 10 times 2x plus 5. I could do that. That's not a whole lot. Whole, not much else you could do there. That's about it. That's about all you got. <coughs> And this last one, oh, in this last one I have a little technique of x to the x. I forgot about that. x to the x. When you have a variable raised to a variable power, what you have to do is you have to get, you have to get this x, you have to get the x out of the exponent. So what I have to do is I have to multiply or I have to take the natural log of both sides. So I have to, to find this derivative, I can do it. Anytime I have a variable raised to a variable, I need to take the natural log of both sides. So the ln of y equals x ln of x. Now take the derivative of both sides. When I take the derivative of this side, it's 1 over y times dy dx, that's that implicit differentiation we did a little earlier, equals, product rule, ln of x plus x times 1 over x, or 1. And then to get dy dx, multiply through by the original equation. So dy dx equals x to the x times ln of x plus 1. This 1 came from, because the ln of x is a 1 over x times x. So it's 1 over x times x. That's why that 1 came from. All right, so there we go. So little, little natural logs and little natural, uh, excuse me, little general logs and um, some general exponentials for you.